everyone and welcome to another Screaming Frog Quickfire Guide, this time on authentication and crawling websites behind a login. So this could be super useful for crawling websites in staging or development or perhaps accessing any internal portals that might require authentication to view and crawl. Now there's two forms of authentication. Now the first is basic and digest authentication. If you visit the website and your browser gives you a pop-up requesting a username and password, the chances are that will be basic or digest authentication. Now there's no setup required for this. You just need to input the URL, click start, and you'll get a pop-up automatically within the SEO Spider. All you need to do is enter in your details, click OK, and it will start crawling. We can see here that this URL has been crawled and returned a 200 status. Now, a little tip here is that often websites, obviously in development or staging, they don't want to be crawled or indexed by the search engine, so quite often they're blocked by robots.txt. So if that's the case, you'll actually see when you go to crawl that there won't be a pop-up. Actually, all you'll get returned here is it will say non-indexable and it will say indexability status blocked by robots.txt. To crawl the URL, to see the authentication, to be able to actually crawl it properly, you'll need to ignore robots.txt. You can do that by going to configuration, robots.txt, settings, and clicking on ignore robots.txt. And then when you crawl the URL, a pop-up will appear. The second type of authentication is known as web form authentication. This is generally when the login screen is contained in the page itself, and you need to enter your credentials into the page, and it issues you cookies. In the SEO Spider, you need to replicate this behavior by entering those details into the inbuilt Chrome browser. Now, to do this, you just need to go to Configuration, Authentication, Forms Based, then click Add, enter in the URL that contains the login. For example, here, I'm going to crawl my fantasy football team. You just need to enter your credentials into the inbuilt browser and log in. And once you're logged in, just click OK and OK again. Then enter the URL in the top window and click Start. And then this will crawl within the logged in area. Now there's a couple of things to remember here. Some websites may also require JavaScript rendering to be enabled when logged in to be able to crawl the links. So to do that, you just need to go to Configuration, Spider, Rendering, and choose JavaScript. This means it will crawl any links or content contained within the DOM rather than just in the raw HTML. Now, this is also a really powerful feature and should therefore be used responsibly. The SEO Spider clicks every link on a page. So when you're logged in, it may also include links that log you back out again. If you're logged into something like WordPress, um, with admin privileges, it could create posts, install plugins, or even delete data. So a couple of extra tips here. Don't crawl as an admin with admin rights, first of all. And number two, use the exclude function. If you go to configuration, exclude, you can enter a list of URLs that you don't want to crawl. So for example, you may want to block crawling the logout URL and other URLs that might be sensitive or perform actions that you don't want. That's everything on authentication. Until next time.